mostly with Atlantis. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about that anyway, okay? Um, <laughs> because it's important. I've had a lot with Atlantis because they said it's important for us to know about. There were many, many civilizations that went to the height. We can't even imagine what they were at. We are nowhere near the way they developed. Atlantis was one of them that went to the pinnacle. They were able to do things with their minds that we can't even imagine. The civilization of Atlantis existed for thousands of years and it was the entire world. It was not just an island out there. There was uh, huge, beautiful cities, and then there were also natives and jungles, so they had it just like they have today. But the ones in the cities had learned how to use their minds to such a degree that they could do anything with it. They could mold stone and move stone. This is where the pyramids and everything were developed later were by the survivors of the Atlant of Atlantis who still carried the knowledge of how this was done. They could move things, they could create things with their minds. They didn't have any more disease, they didn't grow old because they had complete control of their bodies. But they began to use the mind in the wrong way. They did a lot with crystals. They had a lot of colors they used. I've had many things, and this is a whole section in uh, Convoluted Book One about what they were able to do. They had tremendous powers of these things with the minds. But after thousands of years, they began to do things they weren't supposed to. Can you imagine if you <laughs>